All right, traders, the green streak continues. If you watched the analysis I posted last night, I made it very, very clear. I was interested in buying calls if we get a green bullish 30 minute confirmation at our 469 level. With that being said, I did end up taking advantage of that trading opportunity. As you can see right here in terms of the trade that I ended up alerting to my team real time within Trader Society, at 10 a.m., I told my team on the opening of that new 30-minute candlestick that I was buying 469 strikes by calls at 80 cents a contract. With that being said, I quickly exited my position at $1.05, making a very, very nice percentage gain there quickly. And as you can see, in terms of the reasoning behind this trade, I already explained to you in terms of why I was anticipating a bullish reversal at 469. And as you can see, we did get a very, very nice reversal from that level. It went all the way to 471. But in terms of the confirmation, it was the green 30 minute confirmation. It's so simple. It's as, almost as if these candlesticks, you're just drawing Crayola. It's like crayons, man. This stuff is so simple to do. You can just visually see right here, this is a green 30 minute confirmation. You can see right here, this is a key 469 level. The SPY quickly can spike from 469 to a high of 471 in just 30 minutes in that particular situation. So if we're going to see a green bullish 30 minute candlestick close at 469, and in terms of the candlestick, this is a very bullish 30 minute green candlestick right here. You can just visually see in terms of this candlestick, when you're seeing this little top wick right here, so the high of this wick was at 469.26. And in terms of the low in the opening of the next 30 minute candle, right? So it's already confirmed bullish. The low was at 468.69 and the open was at 468.90. So it's opening up lower than the 469 strike. That's your opportunity to buy the call options out of the money. And then in terms of targets, you can just see, man, the SPY loves to retest the high of these wicks. So the high of that wick was at 469.26. So that could be one of your sell zones. And then there was also a high of this wick right here at 469.80. And then in terms of history repeating itself, in this situation, it went from 468.95 all the way to 471.19. It just didn't happen as quickly as last time. But you can just see history tended to repeat itself in a very similar cycle. And the SPY continued to spike back to the high of these 30-minute wicks. Look at this. The high of this 30-minute wick right here is at 470.15. It closed at 469.77, meaning you could buy those 470 calls on the opening and then look to sell them in the money. And then the same example happened right here. The high of this one was 470.24. It closed at 469.85. Notice when these call strikes are going out of the money, they are spiking it back to in the money to retest the high of these wicks with this bullish overall pattern. Clearly stating if 469 reacts to support, the SPY is going to try to retest this 470 level. And there was a wick right here at 471.18. And there was a nice wick right here at 469.80. So those are just some ideas to get targets and you know confirmations. Just one of the one of the patterns that I look for in terms of the SPY. And in terms of the other trades that I made today, it doesn't stop there, man. I don't have the time to review these trades. Some of these trades just happen off the spark of the fly. It's like can't even recap certain trades in a sense. But um, I did end up having two more back-to-back -back winners, and those were over 100%. And then towards the end of the day, you know, I had a couple small losses during my 3.50 p.m. YOLO session. But um, anyways, man, one thing that I've been working on in terms of my strategy heading into 2024 is just mastering Power Hour from 3 to 4 p.m. What I love about Power Hour is, if you trade zero date options during power hour, the contracts are extremely cheap and the SPY SPX is very, very volatile. So if you know how to time it right and you're buying these contracts further out of the money, and then you could try to sell them at or in or even deeper in the money before they expire, you can make a very lucrative percentage return. A trade so good that it's the highest risk to reward on the day. It could be the highest risk to reward on the day because the contracts are so cheap. Spy and SPX is volatile. And I've seen big moves. I've seen particular situations where contracts have gone up over 10,000% in just 30 minutes from 3.30 to 4 p.m. 
So um, I've been focused on mastering volatility during that time, not during the morning. But um, with that being said, that's just the strategy that I've been focusing on this year. My main goal in terms of day trading SPX and SPY is to master that power hour session where you can literally just skip the entire day and just trade during power hour, which can offer, you know, the highest potential risk to rewards on the trades. You're buying these contracts at 20 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. Worst case scenario, they're going to zero. Best case scenario, it's unlimited profit. And I've been in trades that have gone up 500%. I've been in trades that have gone up over 8,000%. It's the best risk to reward ratio, man. It's crazy. When I first started out trading, I used to short sell penny stocks and the hard to borrow fees were very, very expensive. And the returns were only like 20, 30%. Now I'm day trading SPX and SPY options and the returns I'm hitting on these contracts this year, I've already been in multiple trades where I made over a 200% profit return. It wasn't too long ago where I used to make 30% return scalping with these other people. But I decided to go private and focus on myself and work with the best trader that I've ever come across, which was G Roar within Team Roar. And that was a truly life changing opportunity and experience. So, with that being said, before um, you know, we get into that, I just want to quickly share with you this. In terms of my spy analysis, this is what the pattern is telling me. So, again, this is just a pattern. If you think I'm blindly just trading based off these patterns on the daily chart, you should think again. These are just videos. So um, anyways, like I said, I made trades today that went up 200%. It's like, I can't even explain the trade. It just literally happens. It's like this, um, what do they call it? Oh yeah, a heart of cards. Well, what's the heart of cards? Um, that's a whole nother lesson for a whole nother video. But um, anyways, in terms of the SPY, this is what I'm seeing on the daily pattern. It's going to try to turn the previous closing price into resistance. It's gonna try to drop towards the previous closing price. Then it's gonna try to recover for a bullish potential recovery. Now, again, this is just a pattern that I'm seeing. Obviously, I need to know my levels and I need to get confirmations at my levels. I'm not just gonna blindly trade the pattern. So um, with that being said, this is what I would look for. I would look for bearish confirmations at this zone. This is the zone. So if you're seeing bearish confirmations, bearish 30 minute candles, right? Reasons to go short, reasons to buy puts at this zone. This is going to be the zone. $468 and the previous closing price, $467.28. That zone. If you see it reacting bearish with a bearish 30 minute red candlestick, that's where you're going to want to be interested in buying put options. Now, in terms of the call zone, if it does drop and react bearish at that zone, it's going to try to attempt to have a bullish recovery later on through the day. So in terms of the levels for calls, these are gonna be two levels that I will be keeping an eye on. $464. $464 is a level that I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on, and you can also keep an eye on 462. Those are some, just some potential levels. Now, in terms of this pattern and in terms of everything that I'm doing, seeing, I'm not too excited about it. You know, I don't get too excited if there's a bearish confirmation when the SPY is still, is still a little bit oversold and there's gaps to fill above, right? I would be much more interested in terms of just making this lesson to buy puts when the gap fills. You got a gap to fill at 472.67. You got a gap to fill at 475. But again, I'm not trading based off these videos. I'm just pointing some things out in advance that I can use into tomorrow if I see a confirmation for that pattern to repeat itself. A lot of the trades that I make have nothing to do with these videos. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video lesson as this. I have an opportunity for you. If you wanna take advantage of it, it's the first link down below within the description. So in terms of the opportunity, it's going to be this. G Roar is trading inside of Team Roar. If you want to get access to the best zero date options day trader that I've ever worked with, that I've ever traded with, he's within Team Roar. So you can join the program. It's the first link down below in the description. It's a monthly recurring subscription. You can cancel at any time. With that being said, in terms of what you're getting access to, as you can see right here, he alerts all of his trades in real time. I showed my dad this. He said, man, that's an options trading bot. And I said, no. That's G Roar. This is an actual human. He alerts his trades in real time. His win rate is over 95%.
This is the best options day trader that I've ever personally worked with. Now, with that being said, you can clearly see everything is alert and timestamp. It is all tracked and the members absolutely love the program. If you go to the profit section, you can clearly see that a lot of the same members are consistently posting their profits. Now, 90% of the people who join this program are still subscribed to the program. We gave members within Trader Society the option to join this program. And the vast majority who chose to join it are still subscribed to it because it's an amazing trading service. So I'm just gonna say this, man. This is something that just sells itself. And I would really encourage you to try it out if you are interested in learning how to trade zero day trading options. And if you are interested in getting real time trading alerts, there's a lot of value in real time trade alerts. There's a lot of education that can simply be made just by looking at the timestamps of the alert. And he's not just alerting his trades in real time, he's also within the Roar chat, giving analysis, answering questions, and helping you guys out. I've already seen a couple members in here starting to alert trades just like him. And I started working with him and my gains on scalping, I was getting like 20% gains, 30% gains. I started focusing on myself. I secluded myself. I went private. I focused on me and I started working with him. Now I'm hitting multiple 100% profit returns. So if you want to join, it's the first link down below in the description. And you should know that prices only go up. So if you want to join, this is the best time to join members within Trader Society. They got in at the bottom floor pricing. They tested out the program and everyone is loving the program within the group. It has nearly five stars on the reviews. So if you want to check it out, it's the first link down below in the description. Prices only go up and the program can close at any time. That link you're seeing in the description, we can remove that at any time. And then whenever we want to reopen up the program, we could reopen it up. So with that being said, this is your opportunity to work with the best options day trader that I've ever worked with. I will see you guys within Trader Society and within Team Roar. We will continue to crush it.